Okay, Moss Deep City reached. And you don't want to know what I went through to get this fucking piece of sh Pretty straightforward. All right. Four more double battles. A ROM hack where every trainer fight has a 0.1% chance that one of the Pokemon gets randomly changed into a Zoroark before the fight starts. Thoughts? All right, I've been told that this next fight is not that hard, but I'm gonna respect it. Okay, so this fight actually has a really cool gimmick. Um, and that's that one half of the team is fling Pokemon that fling Salak berries at the other side to raise their speed. It's really cool. Fling at the Gothitelle with weakness policy to raise its speed and then raise its offenses and then it's a crazy Pokemon. Um, unfortunately, Fling is bugged, which means we can super abuse it. Basically, the way that it was described to me and that if I hope it works is that the flinging Pokemon doesn't understand that it's lost its item. So it will keep flinging as long as it doesn't see kills on my side. Our opening here, this is Shadow Attack Gothitelle. Normally we wouldn't be able to switch, but we've learned a lot from Magma Hideout, right? Ludicolo has a Shed Shell here. The only thing Ludicolo does here is be here and bait no kills. That's like its only job. Um, because of this, so Crocodile has to fling Gothitelle this turn always to proc weakness policy and raise its speed. Um... Gothitelle doesn't see kills on anything, so the only thing it can do is exactly fake out Ludicolo, because fake out is boosted on the first turn. So Ludicolo can safely switch for me and Xiao. The reason we're doing this is we're avoiding the Intimidate from Crocodile. Dragapult avoids the Intimidate just by nature of being clear body. So we should be able to do this. And then click Phantom Force into Gothitelle. Perfect. Crit from Fake out there never puts me and Xiao into kill range from Kuk Crocodile, and there's the fling with the Salak Berry to proc weakness policy and give it a speed raise as well. Really cool fight. So now. We need a little bit of chip damage on Gothitelle, so we will fake it out. This doesn't matter, though, because Dragapult is still faster with Gothitelle at plus one speed. We just need a little bit of chip damage. Because we weren't able to go a held item on either of these mons. Me and Chao, because it needs to acrobatics in a bit. And Dragapult, because it would otherwise be dead to Crocodile knockoff. So, this is the moment of truth. If what we think about this bug is correct. Crocodile should fling Gothitelle here. If not, we're in a f ton of trouble. Okay. It looks like we're good. This should be Venomoth, exactly, because Dragapult shows fast kill on Flapple. Now, same situation as last turn. Crocodile still doesn't see any kills on anything. It still wants to fling Venomoth. We can Acrobatics, which does 90 to 100. The Venomoth has a Citrus Berry, but that's fine. We're going to Dragon Darts. And one of these Dragon Darts is going to hit Crocodile, the other one's going to hit Venomoth. Apparently is how it works, although I'm allowed to target something for some reason. Um, regardless, the, for the Dragon Dart on Venomoth never procs the Citrus Berry. If it does, it means that I crit and I do enough damage anyway. You're targeting in case they switch to a Fairy. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. Perfect. So this should again be fling from Cro Crocodile. Perfect. Okay. I believe we win. 
So now, me and Shao can switch for Bereskizi. We need one more turn of fling, please. Draco Meteor is going to kill Flapple. Flapple is most likely clicking Sucker Punch on Dragapult here, but Crit never kills us. That's fine. We really need this to be fling. Okay. <sighs> Alright. And now we just liquidate and dragon darts. It flung its Salak Berry. Yeah, yeah, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I mean, liquidation just kills anyway. So. If for some reason the Salak Berry would proc, we would actually be f Should I Sucker Punch here? Just in case there's more bugs? Because liquidation always kills Crook anyway. Yeah, Gothitelle's speed raise never showed on screen, which is weird. I should sucker. Just in case. Sucker should never proc Salak Berry. Switch the pull. I can't. Or, I mean, I can. It just it, it doesn't make sense. I need both to set up the kills. We suck right here. Just in case there's a bug. For self-proc and not fling, it should work as intended because a beloved member of our community lost a beedrill to that. Okay, and now this should be, I believe, me and Xiao. Okay, so the tricky part here was that this Mian Shao also has a Salak Berry, and um, if we were to proc it, Dynamic Speed would activate and it would go before the other Mon. Luckily, we can just Draco Meteor with Pult, and Pult will go first. We're minus two special attack. If the so the regular hit of Draco Meteor would never proc Salak Berry here, and then. Barrascuta would always kill. If Draco Meteor crits, it ignores the special attack drops and always kills me and Xiao. Perfect. And the last mon is going to be Focus Sash Delphox. So we liquidate and we dragon darts. Easy. Okay. Really cool fight. Ruined a little bit by a bug. That is very abusable, unfortunately. Only used four mons for that. Three more doubles, boys. Three more. You do have to remember that if the fiction happens, if the turn one fiction happens, it's probably over. I think if it happens, I risk double detect on um, Blaziken and go Magnazone on the Galliot slot. And I can probably steer from there. Okay. We're going to start off the fight with a 1 in 256 risk to 
maybe lose the run. So the gimmick of this fight... is that the right side has like a bunch of competitive Pokemon that you don't want to intimidate and stuff like that. And they have like focus sashes and they're just kind of annoying. And this Meow Stick has the move Imprison, which is used to block you from using the same moves that Meow Stick has, has both of your Pokemon. So those moves for Meow Stick are Psychic, Thunderbolt, Fake Out, right? So, once Imprison is used, I can't use any of these three moves until the field is empty, right? And then the other side has like a Focus Sash Mon, it has a Gyarados, which you would want to kill with Thunderbolt, and it's got a Concolder, which you would want to kill with Psychic. Um, that's kind of the gimmick here. There is special Imprison AI, and we will be abusing it in a second. But first, let's get the major risk out of the way. This Zen Headbutt is a one roll crit to kill Concolder. If that happens, we are Omega Steering. Blaziken baits Fast Kill from Meow Stick for Psychic and Slow Kill from Concolder with Hammer Arm. Perfect. 1 in 256. We're good. This is not the last inconsistency, though. Okay, Sticky Barb here is going to be important later. Um, Conkholder is like 9 out of 10 to Mach Punch Gallade here. That's not going to matter. Um, that additional damage. Blaziken. Uh, Meowstic is still always going to Psychic Blaziken. We are going to switch. <sighs> into Greninja to block the Psychic. I missed something. It's really bad. It's really, really bad. Blaziken shows fast kill to Conkholder. Greninja's almost always dead to Mach Punch. 75%. percent Double Detect messes up the line, because Greninja needs to be in this spot at the end of the turn. I think I have to sack Blaziken, but then I'm still steering on Milo. That really sucks. What HP is Conkholder at? I don't have this ruler in the right place, hold on. Oh, dude. I will say, that looks like a clean 40. Yeah, no, okay, I can't, I can't. I do 43 max. I have to sack Chicken. So both Blaziken and Gallade show a fast skill to Conkholder at this HP. Conkholder is mock punching one of these two slots. Good thing I caught this before I switched. Sack Chicken always brings us back online, it just means we have to steer pretty hard on Milo. I can't, I can't do like sneak plus double detect. Because then Conkholder isn't dead when Gren comes out. So, if I sneak and detect goes off, I'm fine if sneak doesn't crit, because next turn I just sneak plus switch to Gren, and then the line is intact. If I crit, it's fine, because I go hard Greninja. If I don't crit, I go Salazzle, which baits Meowstic Psychic, and then if Conk mock punches again, it's fine because I, I kill him with sneak. So that recovers the line, but adds the risk. This adds a 1 in 16 of killing Conk Holder this turn, which would bring out Gyarados, and then we probably lose. Um, what if I click Thunderbolt instead on Conk? Does Thunderbolt into Sneak kill? Wait, hold on. I'm f***ing chatting as f***. Okay, good thing I looked at this again. Sneak does way less. Sneak does like 9%. The problem is if I T-Bolt into Zen Headbutt and risk double detect. I risk Gallade getting mock punched twice. 
which will put me into Zen Headbutt range of Rapidash. Which means I lose. Pulse Switch is a complete throw, I think. I think it's the end of the road for the Mighty Chicken, guys. Aw, oh, that sucks so much. I know it kind of sucks, but there's a couple There's a couple more really hard double fights coming up. And I technically need it in this fight. And my box is already really thin. Every death hurts a lot here. Iron Ball was the win. Oh, f that sucks, man. Blaziken 100% has fast kill. Highest roll is 43%. And this guy's at 40. No doubt about it. It was almost always going to be. Greninja lives 25% of the time. I can't, I can't, I can't, I absolutely cannot switch to Gren here. That's not the play. If I go like Salazzle, no, I take way too much. Nah, it's not recoverable. Yeah, if I, I, I can't switch, I can't even risk anything else on like a mock Punch switch in on the Galate slot. It, it, I, like, it can't even be Salazzle because it takes way too much. And then the other slot has to be Pult if I'm switching, so... Made the right call. Level up is fine. Okay, so let's get back into it. We have to steer at the end of this, but it'll be okay. We go Greninja here. To bait in Rapidash. Because Rapidash sees slow kill on Greninja. Rapidash also sees fast kill on Gallade. So, Rapidash is always using exactly Play Rough into Gallade. Here's where we cooked, okay? Let's take a moment to put the Blaziken thing aside and appreciate what's happening here. Meowstic doesn't see kills on anything, but I taught the Thunderbolt TM to Gallade because if one of my mons has a move that Meowstic has, Imprison is preferred. So Meowstic, so sorry. Yeah, Meowstic has to click Imprison this turn. Rapidash has to play rough the Galliad slot. Galliad will switch for Salazzle. Here's the next inconsistency of this fight, by the way. Salazzle really does not want to get crit here. And this is going to look really dangerous. Trust the process here. This also would have not worked even if I would have survived this mock punch, by the way. We're going to Icy Wind. It's going to lower Meowstic's speed. It's going to lower Rapidash's speed. It's going to break both of their Focus Sashes. And it's going to trigger Meowstic's competitive, giving it plus two special attack. Which is really scary. But if we do everything right, we should see no more attacks from this Meowstic from this point onwards. <sighs> Let's see no crits from Rapidash here. And this should be in prison. 
Gulp. No crit. Okay, at least this worked. 159. It's okay, it's okay. It's not bad yet. It's not that bad yet. It's not that bad yet. It's okay. What was the roll there? We're 159. We took... It's not that bad. It's a pretty low roll. I think we're okay. So... Meastic speed is lowered, and it, we just force it to use Imprison. So what we can do now is Encore to lock it into Imprison. Because we lowered its speed. In the meantime, we can fling Rapidash with the King's Rock to make it flinch for a turn. If this crits, our chances actually go down. Okay. Meastic locked into Imprison. Rapidash always dead to this Sludge Bomb. Shell Bell will help us recover some HP here to reduce the chance of us getting f***ed. Basically, the problem with this crit is that Salazzle is sometimes dead to balance from Gyarados. And that introduces the chance of Dragapult being paralyzed or crit on the switch in, which is disastrous. Okay, let's take this kill with Sludge Bomb. Meanwhile, Greninja will switch for Magnezone because we want to kill Gyarados next turn. Meowstic still has to imprison. Because it's a double battle, Meowstic shouldn't be able to switch. Okay, how much do we recover? Seventy-eight. I think highest roll bounce is like 176, 175. We're fine. Shell Bell saving us. Actually, huge Shell Bell value. Okay, we're not out of the woods yet. So it just imprisoned Thunderbolt. Magnezone can no longer use it, but that's fine because Magnet Boosted Shockwave kills Gyarados anyway. So Lazzle's always dead to Waterfall. We switch her for Dragapult. Shockwave to kill Gyarados. This is the last turn of Encore. Okay, left side down. 2v1 now. Unfortunately, a 2v1 that we have to steer because we were planning on using Blaziken here. Okay, Encore is going to end here. Plus two Meowstic always sees kill into Dragapult. <sighs> With Psychic. So he should go for the slow kill here. He doesn't see any kills into Magnezone. So Dragapult can vanish with Phantom Force. Magnezone slot is free. Okay, we have to think about this now. Magnezone is free to do whatever it wants this turn. It doesn't really matter what it does. Because Phantom Force always kills. The question is, who do we want on the field when Milo hits the field? Because initially it was Blaziken, but 
I made a mistake and we lost it. So how do we... St the problem is... So Dragapult can easily 2 it KO the Melodic. And it doesn't care about Muddy Water Drops because of... Clear Body. The problem... The reason we wanted Blaziken in that slot... Was that... We wanted to... Basically eliminate the chance of Melodic using Hypnosis on Dragapult after the first Dragon Darts. Which meant... That... Oh man, this is going to be really complicated now. This is also why we went Sticky Barb on Blaziken, right? Because it needed a little bit of chip damage for Muddy Water to always kill it. Because Melodic would have always seen kill with Muddy Water into Blaziken, then we could have detected and then switched it out the next turn. <sighs> Initially, you would think that Magnazone should be in the second slot. I think we bring Salazzle in when we kill Meowstic. Oh, uh, I could have totally done this without the Sticky Barb. If I would have seen this during Calking, I would have just gone Iron Ball on Blaziken, then it would have, wouldn't would have been faster than Conkholder, and then we would have been fine. But whatever. Let's just attack with Magnazone this turn, it doesn't really matter. It should always be Psychic into Dragapult here, for slow kill. Probably should have checked if Crit Shockwave kills here, it's kinda really decroted if it does. Now we're fine. Okay, so zone switches for... Salazzle. Uh, I always f***ing had it with Iron Ball Blaziken, that's such a f***ing shame. It was a really complicated cook, and it's still a really cool line, but... It's forever gonna be tainted by this. Okay, this is always Muddy Water because it kills Salazzle. Yeah, I could have done this the entire time, I didn't need Sticky Barb on Blaziken at all. Uh. Okay, we darts. And switch this for Gallade, I think. Alright. Yeah. He can't coil because I have to it KO with Pult. And we have clear body, so no muddy water drops. Darts. This always dies. Switch to Greninja. Okay. Alright, we win. We kill with outspeed with Draco Meteor plus Water Shuriken priority. Two hits is fine, that's all we need. First time anyone's ever clicked that move on Greninja. <laughs> I'm upset. Blaziken would have probably been really huge for the next fight. I'm mostly upset because it, it was actually like such a cool line. And, and it was fixable too, if I'd caught it during Kalking, but whatever. But like honestly, if I survive the next fight, 
the next two, I guess, without Blaziken, I think it's probably not going to matter as much that Blaziken is dead. This might be Cope, I don't know. It's a really good tool for double. It's it's literally just a protect bot, but the only other protect mod I have left is Caracosta. He was supposed to die on that double where I left him as a Combuskin for like no reason. Remember that? <laughs> on like the first surf battle. Good times, man. Good times.